Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of his only begotten Son. And there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, who definitely rule well, who have taught us the 100% truth of the scriptures, and honors and citations to the elect Dachium doing these works in sincerity and 100% truth in season out of season week in and week out so I want to entitle this take it as a warning and what I'm speaking about is yeah the Chinese spy balloon which they recently shot down but um I was watching the elder brother Amuan Gabar's lesson and he was going into along with other people as well on how that could be a possible EMP so here it is in a situation like that just as we're going to tie this you know we take it as a warning because that it could have been it could have went down they could have had it drift off however however um he would have spun it, but they could have blamed. They 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 had the fall guy to take the blame for it, and they could have had it up in the sky, and then uh, boom, EMP out of nowhere. It could have went down. It could have fucking went down, man. Right then and there. So what we take situations like that, we should take situations like that as a great warning of how this thing could go down at any time. So this is uh, the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 1. It says, But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. And, you know, the scriptures speak upon how the day of the Lord is as darkness and not light. Also how the Lord cometh cruel great wrath so but we know that like Apostle Tar said it well um, MOTB before World War 3 so we know that the MOTB has to come first but we know how this devil moves he shall come with great wrath knowing that he has but a short time so leading up to Yahweh Shai's return has to be this devil coming down with great wrath and forcing ammo to the TB World War 3 and then Yahweh Shai is going to come in the midst so it's going to everything is going to go downhill extremely fucking fast man so the very true beginning of it is, is when we know that this is it this is it is the enforcement of the ammo to the TB we know that that has to come through all hell breaking loose first and when the day of all hell breaking loose it's, it's well, I'll continue to read verse 3 for when they shall say peace and safety then sudden destruction cometh upon them so this sudden destruction comes while you're in your security while you while you sitting there comfortable getting ready for the Super Bowl the Lord is the least thing according to you know with these two thirds in the world Yahweh Bashem Shai Yahweh Shai's return is the, is the last thing on your mind and all these other things of the world is on the forefront of your mind and you think that this place is never going to end let me get that scripture and then and then here it is out of nowhere all hell breaks loose whether it be through what the, the EMP or a real serious P to the uh, demic or however it may play out but it's going to come while, while they're saying peace and safety so that could have been it right then and there that, that could have been the perfect setup for just all hell to break loose out of nowhere and that, and that would cover a lot that will cover the famine of the word. Okay. 
hey, they could have spun the MO to the TV right then and there. Huge uh, uh, sirens telling you to come down to your local uh, uh, where uh, your local uh, stadiums or whatever. And in order to get in, you got to take the seat hit. And then you're saying, oh, man, well, I remember the, uh, uh, the, the prophets. Wasn't they saying that the CF is the mark, the MO to the TB? Man, I don't know. We don't got time for that. And then, boom, that could have been it. That could have been it right then and there. You know? So, um, let me get a... Uh, I lose my uh, train of thought again. So, lock it. Doing so much uh, talking to Lockheed, but yeah. So that's why. Well, let me get this. Um, let's ask this. So he has his 31. This is why. Yeah, because he has his 39. We want to be found so doing when the Lord allows his devil to, to, to kick it up a notch. It's Ecclesiastes 39 and 1. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. He will keep the sayings of the renowned men. And where the subtile parables are, he will be there also, you know. So if you, if we're occupied in prophecies, we're gonna keep those the sayings of renowned men. We're gonna keep the doctrine and be steadfast. So ultimately, what we'll be ready. So this is why it's, we gotta be locked in. I take it as another faith booster, man. Another faith booster along the way. Another faith booster along the along this path. Take it as a faith booster to be seriously logged in, man. It's not a game, it's not a joke. It could go down at any moment. So be even more turned up in the spirit. This is a revelation. Actually, Revelation chapter 3, verse 10. As thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. And part of the keeping the part of the keeping uh, uh, um, the word of the Lord's patience, the Lord said that what he he wants us to be on fire, to be hot. And not lukewarm, be hot or cold. So when this thing goes down, we want to be, we want it to go down with us being on fire in the spirit. And that's our best bet. Like it says in the book of Second uh, Peter, give diligence to make that call and election short. For if thou do these things, thou shalt never fall. Roughly paraphrasing. I'll get out one more and end it off. Yeah, man, take it out. It could have went down. That could have been it right then and there. And then what? We wanted to go down on fire. It's like in the... In the... Um, like, commercial and, and, and the NBA. You can have a good good year overall but then when the playoffs comes I mean what when you're at the very end about to get that championship if you are still not on fire and then you cold you could cost the damn playoffs that, that happened with uh I never forget that happened with the Nets like three years ago you had to do the uh, Joe Harris supposed to be the sharpshooter he was missing when they went up against I believe it was, yeah when they went up against the Celtics Joe 
Lamar's was missing hella shots, man. But usually he'd be wetting them. So now when it, here it is, you're in the playoffs at the very end, we want to go into the playoffs, to the championship, still on fire. Speaking for myself first and foremost. Because that's, now that's the, that's what's going to have us on fire, full of the Rakak Wadash, full of the Holy Spirit, while we're out here walking in the midst of this chaos. And it's Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And we're coming into these times, man. EMPs will come. Blackouts will come. It's going to be a time of trouble that the earth has never seen before since there was a nation. So you think you're still going to be able to be on your phone? You call somebody up? Call for 911? When it's, going, when it's a horrific times that we in? Yeah, man. Blackouts is coming. That could be through the order at KO. And it, like I'm saying, it could have went down right then and there. That could have been the moment. We know the moment is coming. So, yeah, I say 13 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. So, this truth that we hide, hold fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Going into this thing on fire in the spirit, we're gonna have plenty of wisdom and knowledge to get through those those insane times, man. Knowing that and full of faith, knowing that yeah, how much my shot gonna take care of us. We don't have to go down to Egypt for help. We don't have to go down to the uh, F to the E to the M A camps for help. And uh. You know, we don't know exactly how this how this thing is gonna go down play by play, but we know that the implementation of the MO to the TB is gonna be in effect. We know that World War III is gonna come. But all I'm saying is, you know, take take this as a morning. Starting my starting with myself first and foremost to turn it up to even another notch, Lord willing. Matter of fact, I'm gonna end it with this. Ecclesiasticus chapter four, verse twenty-eight. It says, strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. So we got to strive even harder. You know? So, Logan's edifying, man. This, this ain't no game. This ain't no joke. This ain't no trend. It ain't no fad. It ain't no hangout. It ain't no fucking hangout. It ain't no event. This is for the protection of during Jacob's show, this is for our salvation, man. For the protection on this side and the deliverance to make it to the other side, man. This, this is important, man. We got to be as clean as a fucking whistle, man. Respecting our elders. It seems there's a spirit out here. That, it's where you... I've, I, I learned in the world you got to respect your elders, man. I wasn't one to sag my pants, but if, if I didn't have a belt on, I knew yo yo you pick yo. I'm around my uncle yo pick my pick my, pick your damn pants. On. I, I knew that man. Seems a spirit of uh, rebellion against elders out here. Not to not to man please, of course. But that, it's just the truth, man. You want to be clean as a whistle, man. As clean as possible. So that Yahweh Bashem Shai have mercy upon us during these evil times to come. This ain't no game. You know, we want to be saved and protected during these evil times to come, man. And it could have went down right then and there. So, low on just edifying with that, I'm going to say Shalom.